Hello everybody, this is uh, Snowcat again, Michael, with um, Zombie Girl Gaming, and uh, this is would be our second video today, and what I'm going to uh, show you today is how to, uh, through Villa Layer, and again, not through the FTP process, because that's still broken for some reason, uh, through our file manager and everything else, how to uh, change a load screen. Uh, a lot of you guys have uh, nice load screens, this, that, and the other, and it's changed a little bit since the Steam update. Um, it's not not a big deal, pretty easy, but I'm going to teach you a nice little way that you can change it and have what you want. So, right now, currently, this server uh, just has that uh, Daisy Epoch loading screen that comes up right now, and and uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to change it out. <clears throat> and uh, first thing I do, as always, uh, I stop my server. Uh, I like to do it that way. Uh, they say that you can work outside the server and then whenever it restarts itself, all the changes will apply. I just don't like to do that. So <laughs> stop your server. And the first thing that we're going to do is you're going to need a load screen. And uh, the main thing with the load screen is is you want to kind of keep it as small as possible. Somewhere between about 500 to 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 you know 700 kilobytes I mean somewhere in that general area pretty small the reason is is because it's going to be uh, a part of your mission file <clears throat> and if you have some high-res thing that's absolutely crazy um, it's gonna you know you're gonna have a bit of a problem <clears throat> it's gonna take forever to load you know people are just gonna have issues with it so try to keep it you know under a meg and uh, what we're gonna do is uh, uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you, since we are working on someone else's server, I'm going to show you what they sent us to put on as their load screen and how I'm going to do it. All right, first thing is, is they sent us this little guy right here, uh, which is the, uh, that's their server, that's what they want. So what we have is, the first thing is I want to show you the dimensions to this because, um, uh, you got to make sure that whenever you do put your uh, whenever you do put your load screen together that it's within the proper dimensions so to do that uh, I'm gonna go to load screen here and I'm just gonna bring up the properties right quick okay so if you could see the properties right here the one thing that uh, that you need to pay attention to is the dimensions the dimensions as you could see is 2048 by 1024 now you can make this smaller um, you know, but the thing about it is you want a nice, you know, a nice quality, in my opinion. I've seen people make them bigger, make them smaller. I mean, you want something that's going to fit in there nice, crisp and clear and of a good quality. And that's really, really a good place to, uh, to start it. Uh, again, 622 kilobytes. I mean, that's where about you want to keep it or the mission file gets completely nuts okay uh, you can again name it whatever you want I just uh, got this and just renamed it load screen okay so I know what it is <laughs> all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back uh, and then we're gonna go into our file manager the server's already been stopped I'm gonna go in the file manager and we're gonna go into our missions uh, uh, our, our missions PBO if you will but uh, it's not a PBO so <laughs> any any of you Villa Layer customers know exactly what I'm talking about. But if this if you guys are following along and think it's just for Villa Layer, uh, if you just look and you're able to access your mission and your server PBO or whatever, uh, this is just going to be running out of your mission PBO. Okay, so go down to Villa Layer Code Custom, and again we're going to find our uh, our missions down at the bottom. And since we're running a Chinaris Epoch, that's what we're gonna find right here, Chinaris Epoch. I'm gonna click that. And this is essentially what you're gonna have. Now, you guys that are using Mission PBOs, once you unpack your Mission PBO, this is what you're gonna see, okay? Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do <clears throat> is, uh, I believe there's a couple of guides out there that basically say you could just stick the load screen uh, just on here, just you know I, I don't like to do that I like everything to be in a neat little package okay that's just my thing so what I'm gonna do is, if you follow me is I'm gonna take go up to new folder and I'm gonna click that and I'm just gonna name it 
IMG for image. You can name it whatever you want. You want to name it load screen or whatever. It doesn't matter. I just name I just name an image. All right, IMG. And once that comes up, <coughs> at some point, okay. Once that comes up, I click into that and I'm going to upload. Come over here to upload. You're now within that directory. So upload and I'm gonna go find that, I'm gonna go find that image and it is on my desktop. So we want somewhere, watch, it's gonna be the last one I'm looking for. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Load screen, all right. <clears throat> and then we're just going to upload it. Now, whatever that's done, um, and it's six. You gotta understand, it's six hundred twenty-two megabytes, so it takes a little, little, little bit of time, anyway. All right. So now that that's loaded, okay, I have my load screen loaded into essentially what the mission PBO is. All right. What I want to do though is I want to back out of it, and I'll show you something. Okay, <clears throat> from right here. I've got my image directory. I've got my load screen image in it. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to tell my mission PBO where the image is. I no longer want it to use that generic standard, you know, epoch thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into description ext, hit the little pencil over here, which is the edit. All right, and uh, and then you'll see right here. See, currently for the load screen, they're using add-ons, Daisy, Code, GUI, load screen, PAA, all that kind of stuff. Not interested in doing that. <clears throat> so all you're going to do is, well, essentially what you're going to do is you're going to, it, well, I guess erase all of this. <laughs> so, erase all of this and the only thing is is we're just going to put because we are in the root directory this is where it's going to call from this directory we're going to put image we're going to put a backslash and then we're just going to put load screen because that's when I named it dot jpg and that's it okay what it's telling it to do when it searches for the load screen is since it's coming from the mission folder that we're in it's going to go to the image directory and then it's going to load load screen.jpg we're going to hit save and we are done that's it it's that easy now i'm not going to get into how you guys need to create your load screens because I, I i have no idea to be honest with you every time i need a load screen created i have somebody go do it <laughs> you know because i'm not into all that stuff uh so essentially we're going to go back we are going to start up our server and i'll show you how this is going to load up so that's it pretty much as simple as it is i'll go ahead and load this up for you um just to show you everything works and uh all right everything's running i always give it a a, a second or two more to let the server kickstart itself or something so i'm not sitting at some loading screen just waiting all right uh at this point uh, i'm gonna go back to here Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to load it up uh, in a windowed mode to let you guys see how it worked and how everything uh, worked out. All right, uh, we're going to go to our launcher. We're going to click uh, windowed mode right here. And we're going to click launch. And uh, it should, and I always cross my fingers because I never think anything is ever going to work. <laughs> we cross our fingers, we should be good. So, uh, yeah, shouldn't be a problem. All right, so as it's loading up, um, waiting for host, hosted by him, that's me, everything looks good, so there it is, loaded up just nice. So as you can see, guys, it's not that hard to do anything in, the, in, in with a load screen, uh, as long as you keep the dimensions ready to keep them. 
you know, keep the file size as low as you can, but also have, you know, uh, nice quality. This, this is a beautiful screen. So, you know, they did very well making this up. And um, uh, by the way, you do see the load screen. So uh, check these guys out. Uh, they're, they're, uh, I'm, in, I'm in the mid process of working on it now. So it may be up and down but uh it looks good so if you have any questions any concerns anything like that please leave me a message uh and i will get back to you as soon as possible down below and uh you know make sure you visit us as well at zombiegirlgaming.com uh you can either get a hold of myself or my sister there and uh check out our site like i said we have one cherno and one um nap overpox server <clears throat> so we have two servers so come check us out if you get a shot and if you uh, need any help again please let me know that's what we're here for okay take care and you guys have a great day